All right, so I'm gonna open up and show how to disassemble this Lenovo ThinkCenter M92P. So first what you wanna do is if you have this screen mount, um, you wanna lift it up or pull it up like this and then um, pull it away from the screen. Once you've done that, you'll want to lay it down and then undo the three screws on the back. After that, you can slide the computer out from the screen mount assembly. So you want to slide it to the right just like this. Um, just slide it all the way out completely. After you've done that, you can slide the top cover off. Just slide it to the right and then lift it from the, from the left side up and it will flip over just like this. So inside you'll see the 2.5 inch SATA hard drive which can be upgraded to an SSD. Um, to remove that, just undo the two screws here. Um, and then once you remove the two screws, you'll want to disconnect the SATA cable. So just grab it by the sides and then just wiggle it out and then you can pull it and disconnect it. After you've disconnected the SATA cable, then you can push the hard drive caddy up and then you can pull it out, but be careful because there's a speaker cable connected on the bottom. So you'll want to lift it up slightly and then just grab the connector by the sides and just wiggle it while you're pulling. Don't pull too hard um, and the connector will eventually pop out. Once you've done that, just flip the caddy over and then remove the four screws from the bottom and then the hard drive will be free. If you need to replace the speaker, um, it's held in place with these two clips. Uh, they're very hard to move, but basically you just push them outwards to the sides like this, and then you should be able to pull the speaker out. If you want to replace the CPU or redo the thermal paste, um, just undo the four screws from the heat sink here. Um, and then after that, you should be able to wiggle and pull off the heat sink. Um, I didn't show this, but uh, because I didn't want to redo the thermal paste, but then you'll see this metal clip here Just like most motherboards where you can release the CPU if you want to remove the fan um, Just remove the four screws and then undo the connector and You should be able to pull the fan out the CMOS battery is hidden underneath a rubber cover um, So if you need to replace the battery, you'll have to remove that but if you're just resetting the CMOS, just move the jumper to the left, uh, wait a few seconds, and then move it back. The SATA connector can be removed if you need to replace it or something. Um, just pull out the two connectors here, and you should be able to take that out. So this computer also has a slot for a wireless card, um, but this didn't come with wireless antennas. So if you put a wireless card, you'll need to install some wireless antennas as well. If you have a problem with the power button, the power button is replaceable. Um, it's just this wire here, so it's connected to both sides. Um, if you need to disconnect it, just grab the edges and then wiggle it out. All right, and last but not least, um, the RAM. So as you can see, it's PC3 12800S. To remove it, you just pull the um, tabs to the side and then the RAM will pop up just like this. Um, and then you can just pull the stick of RAM out. To put it back, you just put the RAM back in at an angle like this, and then put pressure on it down, and then the clip should go back over the top of the RAM. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe, because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.